Okay, we're back in Hell Divers 2, and bloody hell, it's heating up with leaks coming out the rear end. There seems to be so much going on with this game right now, and it just progressively upgrades itself all the bloody time. We've obviously just had the Shriekers come in, at which point the CEO has posted up a tweet to identify some stuff with that, and then we have got more leaks than you guys could ever bloody imagine. So if you don't want any leaks, this video may not be for you. So we're going to do a pre-warning when we get into those, so make sure that you stay tuned for it, because if you do not want to see this, then I don't want to be that guy that ruins it for you. But irrelevant to it, if you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe but with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Advanced GG, the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market. My favorite flavor is cherry vanilla, but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description. Use code cloud at checkout for a cheeky discount. And with that being said, let's dive on in to the news at hand inside of Helldivers 2. So starting off, as of four minutes ago, the CEO of Arrowhead has just tweeted out stating in regards to the mo int report on a new previously unseen flying bug i want to be very clear i have always believed there to be a possibility of flying bugs everyone knows that most bugs fly and it was only a matter of time before this strain would evolve naturally and to those unpatriotic citizens that question the timing of tcs and termicide testing and deployment this is completely coincidental and unrelated nine out of nine reputable and super earth sanctioned scientists agree I love how this guy takes what he's got with his platform and utilizes it in a role-playing mechanic towards the game. It is so damn good. Some of this stuff is more entertaining for me than any of the leaks or any of the news updates. This stuff right here, the role-playing mechanic with the CEO and the Baskinator and everybody kind of getting involved with what it is that's going on inside of the game right now and bringing it into that real-life aspect is what really stretches the motive for me when it comes to how gaming is actually approached. Dragon's Dogma is just released. We're under no illusion. It doesn't seem to be doing too great, and there seems to be a lot of skepticism behind it. But this is just what seems to be happening right now. Big companies, triple A's, and all of these sorts of companies are not able to sustain what it is that these lower level companies are pulling out right now. So, a massive shout out to Arrowhead and to Mr. Johan, the CEO, for just keeping things entertaining, fun, and all out interesting. Now, we are going to get into the leaks in just a moment. Now, before we do that, though, we are doing a giveaway for a copy of Helldivers and for those of you who have already got it. Don't worry, we're doing the money equivalent in super credits. Now, we are going to be having the announcement coming up over the next couple of days when it comes to the weekend, which is pretty normal for us here. We'll announce it over the weekend on the community page and in the Discord. If you guys want to get involved with it, it's really, really simple. Head down to the comment section and put in a golden star because right now this is exactly what this game seems to be it seems to be the star that we're all following and the one that we all needed so get down to the comment section put the star emoji and i will comment on it when you win and post up across socials so you guys will see it we'll get you what you're owed with that being said though we are diving into leak territory right now so please 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 if this isn't for you, do not watch past this point. You've had your pre-warning, but now it's time to get into it. So over on the Reddit for Helldivers leaks, there has been an absolute obliteration of new things that have been making a scene in the head. We've got right here the full weapon customization system leak. Now weapons can freely change ammunition type, magazine size, internal accessories, muzzles, scope, sling, painting, etc, etc. Now this list is so big that I cannot provide all of it on this video. Here is just a couple of screenshots of some of the pieces that we're going to be able to have for certain weapons and this is absolutely incredible and it makes me so damn happy. If you guys want to see the the full listing though the link is down in the description as always all of our sources are down there you guys will be able to find it and just go through this absolutely ginormous list of attachments and customizations you're going to be able to make to weapon now people are kind of under an illusion that this may have been scrapped previously although the ceo has confirmed and tested some things mentioned as well so it could potentially be that this is due to come over the next couple of months maybe even the next year but we don't have a time scale on how this one works but the game has been in development for just shy of eight years. The content they have already finished isn't what they are pulling from the files. This is stuff that's being worked on right now. It's absolutely incredible, but we've also got some gameplay footage for the Adjudicator. 
this is really cool it just looks absolutely incredible now we already know of this weapon coming into play but this thing looks amazing and it's something i'm so looking forward to the br14 adjudicator is an unreleased slash leaked weapon whose method of acquisition is currently unknown now it is an accurate armor penetrating rifle in the br 14 adjudicator delivers righteous judgment to medium-sized enemies through its restrictive magazine limits its effectiveness against large groups so this thing is going to be a hard hitter it's going to be hitting those medium-sized enemies the medium armor the penetrating is going to be on point and it looks really really cool for me this is one that i reckon i'm going to use a lot of next up we've got some gameplay footage for you guys on the ar-48 truth whisperer now this is is a stealthy assault rifle the ar-48 truth whisperer is an exciting addition for stealth based gameplay this silence rifle comes with a built-in suppressor ensuring that distant targets won't be alerted to the user's position it offers a new dimension of gameplay for players who prefer a more covert approach and this one is huge because this completely changes up how this game is going to be played uh, for me personally this one is going to be a hard runner in the, the main source of weapon usage when it comes to your primary weapon because mainly what people are finding is as we are fighting enemies obviously more hordes are coming from left right and center and it just becomes a massively overwhelming spree with this what it does do is it limitates exactly what it is that can hear you therefore limitating how big these waves of ads should essentially be although moving from that we have now got the illuminate leaks that are due to come in and boy oh boy these things are looking mental we've got the dark fluid extractor from the Illuminate, and this thing looks freaking torture material. This thing is crazy, but it looks so damn cool. Now, the fluid extractor that has quote unquote crashed, it's a main objective for a mission type. It extracts dark fluid. Now, it may have a low saturation gray or blue sort of coloring scheme like a lot of the tripods. It does look pretty cool, and this is about as accurate as they've been able to make it right now, but you can see the sort of colorization that we're expecting to see from the Illuminate with that one the next up though we've got the artifact so this thing looks absolutely again incredible but this is an artifact again from inside the game missions the artifact can be picked up and it can be thrown it also has a transponder on it and the artifact is most likely to be involved with a baguettification incident of some sort I don't really know a lot about this thing, but it does look bloody awesome. We're going to be finding a lot of these inside of the game, whether they're going to be used as a sort of offensive option or if it's going to be something that we have to take from one side of the map to another. The artifact is still going to be featured in the game quite a lot. And this one is my favorite, mainly because I just think that the Illuminate look absolutely incredible. Right here we have the Illuminate Pathfinder. Now, on the description of this one on the Helldivers Leaks Reddit, it actually says that the entity name is Summoner. The weapon in his hand is referred to as Whip and can take the form of a disc, sword, and, well, a, a whip. The whip is infused with some sort of blue-purple energy, and it was a bit generous on the emissives here, probably not that glowy in-game, though. Now, the entity can warp in and out of the current dimensional plane, and this entity can also be temporarily stunned and unable to warp. So, you've obviously got to have that that big movement of being able to stun these guys or else they're going to be pinging left right and center they don't have legs so he's going to be hovering around it's going to be a bit of a nightmare so he's going to be ducking and weaving very very quickly but this one is just absolutely insane I, these guys need to come to the game asap mainly because they just look so freaking good they play the part so damn well and i think it's something that is safe to say is going to make the game 10 times better as and when they finally do release them but we're going to have to see how these major orders play out into the storyline as to when these guys are actually going to make an appearance right now we have had a solid one with the recent major order and it's been a bit of a dark showcase so we'll have to see how the next mo goes and what it is that we need to do and hopefully we'll see these beautiful blue buggers very soon unfortunately that's all we've got time for today though if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated we are moving into other territories later on within hell divers 2 for later's video so hopefully you guys stay tuned thank you so much again for watching guys appreciate your faces like subscribe and i'll see you in the clouds